Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use N8N to scrape TikTok videos, get their transcripts, and have those transcripts summarized with AI. So what we're doing in this video is that we're gonna take Alex Hermosi's TikTok channel, and then we're gonna run it through N8N with Appify to scrape all of the transcripts, and we're gonna write those transcripts to a Google Sheet with the captions. And not only that, we're gonna then use AI to take all of those transcripts from his last 10 to 20 TikTok videos and then perform an analysis of those transcripts about the hooks, the messaging, the key themes. So we're able to feed AI a bunch of TikTok transcripts and then get a sentiment analysis. So look, if you're trying to run automation for clients, one of the best skills you can learn is scraping. So in this video, what you're gonna take away from this is you're gonna learn how to use Appify inside of N8N to scrape, in this example, TikTok. But with Appify, you can scrape almost anything, LinkedIn, Google Maps, Instagram. So it's a really nice skill set to have in your N8N tool stack. Because working with clients, scraping is one of the biggest use cases that I've come across. So having this skill set is key if you're gonna offer AI automation as a service to clients or as an agency. And by the way, if you wanna grab this template, make sure to check the link below to my school community, AI Automation made easy. This community is absolutely blowing up. We've got a lot of builders in here, folks who are building automations for their own business and also offering it as a service to clients as part of their agency or as a consultant. So we've got our community in here and then we've got our classroom, which includes all of the templates to my YouTube videos, whether it's Gumloop, Lindy, or N8N, you just come in and click the workflow and copy it over into your own account. So again, if you want the template for this video, make sure to check the school link below the video. All right, let's take a high level overview of what we're building here, and then we'll build it out step by step in N8N. The only other thing you need besides N8N is an Appify account and an Appify API key. All right, so we're gonna run this manually when we click test workflow. And then what we're doing over here is we're gonna call the Appify API. And again, Appify is a store with a bunch of scrapers. They call them actors, but there's a scraper for pretty much any use case. So again, in this video, I'm just gonna specifically show you TikTok, but this is a skill set you need to have in this field. And I really encourage you to learn Appify so you can integrate all of these different scrapers inside of N8N. So we're going to grab the TikTok videos from Alex Hormozzi's TikTok account. And then to get the transcript, we need to do an HTTP request. Then we need to do a, just a tiny bit of code to extract just the transcript. Then we're gonna aggregate those transcripts and also write them to a Google Sheet. And then we're gonna continue on up here with the AI step. So we're basically gonna feed, again, 10 or 20 transcripts from Hormozy, and we're gonna have AI do an analysis of the YouTube transcripts and write that analysis to the Google Sheet here. So again, what I asked for was what hooks is he using? What's the messaging that he's using? What are some of the key themes? So you can do this with competitor accounts in your niche, whether it's a business who's running on TikTok or maybe a different creator who's in your niche and you're trying to get an understanding of what they're doing well. You can scrape their videos, feed the transcripts into AI and get a nice summary. So it's a pretty straightforward flow. There's a teeny bit of code that I had chat GPT help me with, but again, we can build this out step by step. All right, and so the only pre-work that you need to do is you need to set up a Google Sheet, and I'll try to remember to put this template inside of my community. So I have two tabs here. The first tab is called transcripts. In my columns, I have an ID, I have a transcript, I have a caption, and just to have it, I'm, I'm also capturing the video URL. So it's just those four columns. Then in the second sheet, this is where I'm gonna send the analysis, right? So my second tab is called analysis. And the reason I'm doing it in a second tab is because I don't want an analysis of every single video. I just want the AI to take a look at, again, however many videos you decide to send over, 10, 20, 30 videos, to look at all of those transcripts and then come up with one single analysis. So again, I have a second tab called analysis and there is a single column called analysis, and that's where the output is gonna go here. But in terms of pre-work, that's all you need to do is set up your Google Sheet. All right, now before we even get to N8N, let's take care of the Appify 
part first. So again, you need an Appify account. I'm actually on the free account right now, and this still works for me. So I want you to go into the Appify store. Again, this is where you can see all of the different scrapers. Now, the one we want, and you can search for this if it doesn't pop up, is this TikTok scraper by Clockworks that has 32,000 uses. So click into this scraper and we're just going to configure this for N8N. All right. So when you get into the TikTok scraper, we do have to configure some settings down here. And I'm going to be honest, there's a lot of different settings that you could do, but we're only going to do a, a couple that you need to follow along with. So the hashtag, we're, we're not searching hashtag, so you can leave that blank. Now this next field, which is number of videos per hashtag profile or search this is up to you. For this demo, I'm only going to do 10 videos. You could do as many videos as you want, but that's where you that's where you set that number right here. Now, where we want to really go is with this profile options, right? Because in this example, we're searching for a specific person. So click under profiles and the username, this is where you want to enter the account or the accounts that you're scraping, right? So we're going to scrape Hormozy. This is his username right here. So I'm gonna just enter Alex's username right over there. All right, the next selection you need to do is profile sections to scrape. There's a drop down, and I want you to choose videos. So we want videos, we don't want reposts. And then for profile video sorting, the drop down here, I want you to choose the latest, or it really is up to you, but I'm looking for the latest videos, the most recent ones. So I'm gonna choose latest. Then scrape profile videos published after a certain day. So, you know, do you want it from the last two days, the last week, the last 30 days, the last 90 days? So I want you to click into absolute, excuse me, click into relative and then set the number of days. Like how far back do you want to go? In this example, we're going to go far 30 days back. And then the last option that I want to do, and again, this is up to you, of course, is to exclude the pin post. I just want his recent feed, right? The, the newest videos that's coming in. So I'm going to exclude pin posts here. Now, in terms of options, that should be all that you need. Again, all of this is under the profiles. Everything else we're going to leave alone. If there's any data already in here in any other sections, you can just delete it. All right, now that we have Appify configured, we have the Google Sheets set up. Let's start building inside of N8N. So I want you to click on Create Workflow. This is going to start a new canvas for us. And we're just going to trigger this on a click, so a trigger manual. And the first thing that we're going to need is an HTTP request to call Appify, okay? So open up your node library, search for HTTP request, and now we're going to set this up. So rename this to something descriptive, like get latest TikToks. And now what we need to do is go back into Appify, and you'll see, so I'm still under this TikTok scraper. What I want you to do is you can see the API drop down over here, and I want you to click and do API endpoints. Now, this is the URL that we're going to send to N8N as a post request. And the one that you want is this one right here. Run actors synchronously and get data set items. Now, when you copy this URL, your API key from Appify will already be included, which is really nice. So you want to copy that. Okay. And then we're going to come back to N8N. We need to change the method here. And you can see it in the docs here to post. So change the method to post. Then you want to paste in your URL. And again, that URL is, is this URL right here that you're going to copy to your clipboard. Authentication is, we don't need any because it's already in our URL. Query parameters are off. Send headers are off. But you want to send body. You want to turn that on. And the body content type is going to be JSON. And then for specify body, I want you to change that to using JSON. And now you're going to come back into Appify and click out of here real quick. Now go back to the settings and now you'll see, if you haven't noticed yet, there's a little JSON tab up here. So click into that JSON tab and copy all of this to your clipboard. And now you're going to go back into N8N and then in this JSON block right here, you want to paste that in like that. All right. So your JSON block should look like that. And you can see these are the settings that we made earlier. Remember, we're excluding the pin post. We have, we're going back 30 days. We're only scraping the videos. We're sorting by latest. Here's Hormozy's profile and then results per page. Remember, I'm only pulling in 10 and then a bunch of other things that we didn't set, but they're set to false. Now we can try to test this step. All right, and we can see that come back in the output. So you can see in the JSON, we've got 10 items. If we move to 
schema. What we can see is the text here, which is really just the caption. And then there's a bunch of other fields here, like the date and time. We've got the profile URL, the video URL, and then there's a bunch of other fields that Appify is pulling in. But you can see we succeeded here and we got our 10 items. All right, now to get the actual transcript, we need another actual two steps because TikTok doesn't give us the transcript. If you look in the output of the 10 items that we got back, there's no transcript. What they do give us here under subtitle is a download link to a transcript file. So we need to basically go grab the file to see what words are in it. So we're gonna add another node that goes and takes that file and pulls back the plain text. All right, so we need another HTTP request here. Let's add that to the canvas. So this is gonna be a get method. And now I did have ChatGPT help me out with the URL. So let me just pull that over here. So in the URL, I'm gonna come into this expression and I'm gonna paste in, again, this is directly from ChatGPT here. So let me just open that up a little bit bigger. So this is digging into the subtitle list from the input. It's finding the caption track and then it's gonna spit out the download link to that caption file that we can just grab. Again, this I grabbed from ChatGPT. You can screenshot it here or it will be available in the community. Now there's one more setting you need to make in here and you should really rename this as well. So let's call it get transcript. So in this node, you need to go down to options and then click on response. And then for response format, we wanna change this to text. And then in this field here, you wanna change this to body. So we need to change that because we don't want a JSON response from NNN. We're basically just telling it, hey, this is a text response. So let's try testing out this step. And what we can see here is the body, all right? So this is the transcript. And you can see there's these timestamps and there, there are these arrows. So this is great but we wanna add one more step, just a little bit of code to kind of strip out all that noise and just get the text itself. All right, and so to extract just the text, we're gonna do a little bit of code. And again, this is all ChatGPT. So let's add a code node here and I'm gonna delete everything that's in here and I'm gonna paste in this little bit of code here. And again, this will be available in the community. And again, this is basically just gonna strip out and you can see over here, this body, which is including all this little extra noise with the timestamps and the arrows. Hopefully this will pull out just the tech. Now, one setting that you need to change is this mode here. So we don't want it once for all items, we want it once for each item. We've got 10 items, remember? And we can rename this as well. So let's call it extract transcript and let's see what happens when we click on test step. All right, perfect. So you can see ChatGPT, thanks for the assist there. It's pulling, it's stripping out all of the noise and it's giving us just the transcript, which we can then feed into AI and write to our Google Sheet. All right, now that we have the transcript, let's start adding this to our Google Sheet. So again, I've cleared mine out here and we're gonna pull in just a couple of things, the transcript, which we now have, the caption and the video URL. And we're also gonna populate just an ID so we have a running list here. So again, have that Google Sheet ready. Let's come out here, add a Google Sheet node, click on Google Sheets. And what we want here is to append row in Sheet. Now, if you don't have Google Sheets hooked up to and you're gonna to wanna to do that, it's a one-click login, it's really easy. So leave sheet within document and a pen row. And then what you're gonna wanna do from your dropdown is choose the document. So mine is called Scrape TikTok. So I'll select that spreadsheet. And again, we have two sheets here and we're gonna write this to the transcripts sheet. So let me pick that from the dropdown as well. And now we need to map these fields. So for the ID, we're gonna do this manually with just a simple formula. So this is equals row open and close parens minus one. So this is a simple, again, a simple formula that's going to auto populate this. So it's taking the row number and it's subtracting one. This will be ID one, which is row two minus one. So a very simple formula there. And now we need to drag in the transcript, the caption and the video URL. So for the transcript from our previous runs, let's, let's grab the extract transcript. We can see it's already up here. So I'm going to drag this into transcript it's going to change to an expression and we can see it's pulling in that transcript now for caption what we want to do is go to the get latest tiktok node and the caption is actually called the text so let me grab that on there and again this one is everyone has the ability to change their lives most just lack the will to try it so we can see it's pulling that in as an expression as well 
And then we just need the video URL. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna get to something called the web video URL. So you can drag that into the field over there and that expression is gonna populate and you can see it's pulling in the actual TikTok video URL. All right, that's all we should need to test this. So let's test this step. All right, perfect. So we can see the ID is having the formula there that'll populate in Google Sheets, but it's pulling in the transcript, it's pulling in the caption, and it's pulling in the video URL. And now it ran that whole thing. When I go into Google Sheets, we can see that the ID has populated, right? So it's going one down to 10 because we pulled in 10. Here's all of the transcripts. Here are all of the captions, and here are all of the video URLs if you wanna just come in here and open them up. All right, now what we wanna do is, again, eventually we wanna send all of the transcripts to AI to analyze it. But in order to do that, we need to aggregate or add an aggregate node, because right now these are coming in as 10 separate items. When we wanna feed it to AI, it's just one giant block of text. So we can come in, search for aggregate, and then you can leave on individual fields. And now we need the fields to aggregate. So we want to pull in the transcript here. So this is the input field name, which is coming from over here. And just so it's clear, we can rename the field or the output field. So we can call it something like all transcripts. And then we want to merge these lists. So under options, what I want you to do under the drop down is click on merge list and then tick that on. And now when we test this, what we should see is one item, right? Perfect. So we've got one item here. It's called all transcripts. And now these are all coming in together as kind of one block of text that we can now feed into AI. All right, so before we send this off to AI to analyze, I actually wanna make one change and that's kind of how we're connecting this. Cause when we go to update Google Sheets the second time, it's not gonna be an elegant solution the way that we're doing it now. So we actually wanna delete the connection from Google Sheets to aggregate, and we wanna drag it up here and actually send it from the extract transcript because we wanna basically write two different times to Google Sheets, one with the transcripts, which we've already done, and a secondary time with the AI summary, which we're gonna do in just a second. So delete that connection from Google Sheets to aggregate, and instead I want you to feed it in from the extract transcript to aggregate. So we can save that, and again, the output is still the same because it's still coming from the extract transcript node. All right, so now we wanna feed this into AI. So let's click on AI, let's click on open AI, and we wanna message a model here, all right? So under text action, select message a model. And then if you haven't connected your OpenAI account, you have to do that. Resource is text, operation is message a model. Then you can choose your model here. I'm gonna go with 40 MIDI. And now we just need a prompt. I'm gonna say here are 10 TikTok video transcripts, provide an analysis that includes the hooks that are used, the messaging and key themes. So obviously you can prompt it however you want. And what we need to provide here is this all transcripts field. So let me feed this in down here. And you can see below in the result that it's getting all of the transcripts, right? So all 10 transcripts. So we're just prompting ChatGPT basically Hey, here are all of these TikTok transcripts. Can you give me the hooks, the messaging, and the key themes used? Leave simplify output checked on, and let's try to test this step now. So this may take a second because we got to feed all this content into ChatGPT, and then it's got to generate a response for it. All right, so perfect. In the schema, we can see here's an analysis of the transcripts. In the table view, you can get a better view but we can see the output is working and it is analyzing the transcripts for us. All right, just one more step and we are done. So again, we're gonna put our analysis, and let me just clear this out right now, into this analysis tab in Google Sheets. So connected to the OpenAI step, we wanna add another sheet. And again, we want to append a row in a sheet. And then it's the same thing. You wanna pick your spreadsheet, so scrape TikTok. But this time for the sheet itself, we wanna change it to the analysis. And then we only have one column and we, really this is only gonna be one single field. So for this analysis field, what we want is the content from the OpenAI node. We can see it's populating right there. So now when I hit test step, we can see that it's outputting the analysis and there it is right there inside of Google Sheets. We've got the hooks used, the messaging, and the key themes on the last 10 videos from Alex Hormozzi. So again, you can definitely vary up your use case. I just think it's important to learn how to scrape 
Appify, how to use the Appify API inside of N8N because there are so many use cases. Now, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Leave a comment below what you want to see me build out next. Thank you.